The art of photography has been growing exponentially due to recent advancements in technology. Additionally, through the popularity that this art has gained through social media, there has been noticeable increase in the use of language and rhetoric within the affinity space of photography in all genres, including gallery photography. I will be addressing the growing importance of rhetoric within the affinity group of photography by comparing the gallery exhibitions of Dubois in 1900 and Lord Snowden in the year 2000. When looking at the gallery compiled by Dubois called the American Negro, shown at the 1900 Paris World Fair, there is no artist statement that can be located. This shows that the inclusion of rhetoric was not valued highly in the history of photography. However, when further researching Dubois' exhibition, I found a 13 paragraph article that was written by Dubois that describes all parts of the exhibition that he is showing. It is clear that the statement he has written is written very intricately with a main goal of presenting a roadmap for what the exhibition holds. I believe that photographs should be simply technical and easy to look at. They shouldn't be directed at other photographers. Their point is to make ordinary people react, to laugh or to see something ha they hadn't taken in before, or to be touched, but not to wince, I think. This was the statement that Snowden presented on the exhibition titled Photographs by Snowden, a Retrospective. When diving deeper to analyze the rhetoric of this statement, Snowden speaks in a lighthearted tone that also challenges other artists in a positive way. When comparing these two artists and the statements that were made in their exhibitions, there are some clear differences between the two. First, the statements made by Dubois had a main goal of capturing his entire exhibition, whereas Snowden does not mention specifics about what was included in his collection. Additionally, Snowden's statement, when analyzed separately from the exhibition, presents his ideas and philosophy on the medium of photography as a whole. To conclude, there are differences between the rhetoric utilized in the artist statements from photographers in history compared to more of contemporary photographers. The main differences lie in that more dated artists tend to write specifically to their collection, where the artists that have produced work more recently tend to shape their statement in a way that provides value to the viewer outside of the exhibition alone.